about it, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Hope y'all are doing okay today. So, I want to give an opinion on something. I think that there is fixing to be a mental health crisis in this country like we've never seen. And fully ready to back that up. Now, I'm not making any claims about the methods or reasoning behind any of the COVID things. I'm not making a any claims about, you know, this doctor or that doctor being wrong or this approach being wrong. But here's what I think. I think that starting in the mid-2000s, early to mid-2000s, I think that politics, by and large, became such a point of contention and division in people groups where you know you had the the stereotypical Republican or Democrat voter and you'd hear the things about them on the news, whether you listen, you know, whoever you listen to, they'd always have their opinions on it. And then you'd know people that were Republican or Democrat voters that voted opposite the way that you saw things. And you'd hear these two different stories about things. Well, that can't be right. You know, it can't be all, you know, critical race theory snowflakes. I know a bunch of Democrats, you know, that's, that doesn't make sense. You know, they're, they seem like pretty good people that just think that, you know, taxes should be a little higher and, you know, support a woman's right to choose. Or, well, they can't all be racist. You know, I know a bunch of Republicans, you know, they seem like really decent folks to me that believe in the right to life and lower taxes and right to keep and bear arms. Okay. So you've got that discord between what you're seeing and what you're hearing all the time. Then Donald Trump comes in, love him or hate him, not going to comment on any of that, but he was called everything under the sun and well you know if you support Donald Trump you must be a racist or you must be a this or a that or don't believe women or don't believe that you know he sexually harassed these people or don't believe in you know a sexual harassment free workplace or this or that no I like his policy And I think that division crept in, that discord crept in further. And then you get to COVID and not speaking about how bad the virus was, how bad it could have been if we hadn't done anything. Or anything scientific about the virus. But from strictly a mental health perspective of, you know, being able to to see your, your people groups that you hang out with, you know, whether it's co-workers or friends at clubs or churches or hanging out with your your car buddies at the car meet on, you know, the first Saturday of the month, or 
going out to dinner with this group of friends every Friday night, whatever, all that got shut down. So not only is there a potentially lethal virus running around the human population, but you don't get human interaction. However, if you watch the news all the time, which a lot of people did because they didn't have anything else to do, that discord creeps in a little further. Where you've got some people saying that, you know, authoritarian state is uh, taking over and they've got no uh, delegated powers to do the things that they're doing. And you've got other people saying that, you know, well, you're science deniers, you don't believe, you know, settled science or germ theory or anything else. Discord creeps in a little further. I just personally think that, and I'm not peddling any conspiracy theory here, I think that there's a lot of things that came together by accident to kind of make a perfect storm. I think that oh, I think that over the lifetime of the the pandemic, a lot of things came together that didn't do mental health in this country any favors. And mental health wasn't a consideration in anyone's decision-making process. Whether you were, you know, head of CDC, Dr. Fauci, uh, president, so on, so on, down the list. Or even state level. And the reason why I say that is there was an uptick in substance abuse, uptick in ODs, uptick in suicides, uptick in all sorts of things. Now, I don't know if those numbers outpaced COVID deaths or would have outpaced COVID deaths had we not done anything or if COVID would have, you know, run rampant through population centers. I don't know. I'm just saying that I think that you've got to balance a lot of things and they were only worried about balancing one thing. So... And my evidence for this, I've been commuting back and forth to Louisville, which is where I work, for seven years now. And in that seven years, I've done my best to keep up with the traffic for the ride home. You know, oh, well, I, I know a workaround due to this accident on this road or oh, I'll have to get off and exit early and take the, the surface streets, you know, whatever. Keep tabs on the traffic so I don't get caught in it. Really, dude? Well, last week, maybe a week before last, was the first time they had ever shut down one of the bypasses because there was a jumper on a bridge. Shut down the road to try to talk the person down and evidently they didn't want to be talked down. So unfortunately they stepped off the bridge and committed suicide. And in a little over seven years, I mean making this commute, that's the first time I've ever seen that happen. So, I think that there's a mental health crisis brewing, and I think if we're not careful as a country and med mental health establishment and all that, I think that it will get worse. And I said all that, not even counting that, you know, a lot of people were forced out of the workforce during COVID and couldn't pay their bills 
or couldn't go to work because they didn't have child care. And I get that there was CARES Act and enhanced unemployment benefits and all that, but I was one of the fortunate people through all that. Thankfully, the the pandemic hit at probably the best time for me as far as amount of money in the bank and my wife had just start had just got back into the workforce so it did work out pretty good however I had to wait four or five weeks for my unemployment to hit and I won't lie I was getting kind of tired of watching the bank balance dwindle down a little bit because my wife wasn't making as much money as I was at that time. So, you had a lot of stressors coming into play in all those situations, and I think that we, strictly when it comes to mental health, we definitely made a bunch of mistakes. That's what I got on this one, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Hope y'all doing okay. I will catch you next time.